product launches can be very stressful, but they can also be very rewarding. So I've made this video series uh, to hopefully help you with your product launch. Uh, in this video series, I'm going to explain to you uh, why you should do product launches, and I'm going to give tips on how to recruit JV partners and affiliates. I'm going to give tips on what to do before and during your product launch, and also other tips to hopefully um, you know increase the chances of you succeeding with your product launch. Why do product launches? Why not just have an evergreen product? Well, what I like about product launches is that there's usually a scarcity and urgency involved that drives up the sales and can result in more sales in a week than in a year or a few years for a certain product. Uh, for example, you could have a seven day launch um, where at the end of seven days you could increase uh, the price of the product by a few dollars or even a hundred dollars or you could just shut down the offer altogether and and if you really want to sell that offer sell that product again uh, you can always just relaunch it at a later date okay um, I, another reason to do product launches is that you know there's a possibility that you can generate thousands uh, tens of thousands or even hundreds of thousands of dollars or even more so there's the, always a possibility of getting that big windfall of cash and you know cash is king you need cash uh, to operate your business so that's one of the beauties of having product launches it's you know, it infuses cash into your business okay another thing that it infuses is responsive leads uh, or in this case buyers uh, buyers are you know as a rule of thumb buyers are 10 to 20 times more response more responsive than freebie seekers so it's very important to have buyers on your list so you can also look at product launches as an opportunity to build your list with responsive leads one of the keys to having a successful product launch is to have a lot of JV partners and affiliates promoting your offer. Okay, The more affiliates you have, the more money you'll make as a rule of thumb. So to make your offer attractive, uh, you'd want to offer high, pay, high commissions. Okay, so let me just give you an example here. This is what, uh, this is the current trend a lot of people are doing. Um, you know, a lot of people are offering 100% commissions on the front end for a low front end price of say between seven dollars to nine dollars ninety seven cents so that that this is something that I actually do this is what I did from my last launch actually and then you'd want to have an upsell um, in the forty seven dollar to ninety seven dollar range of course this is just an example I don't know what your your product is your you could have a, a higher price range but um, you know I'm just giving an example here so you could have an upsell in the forty seven dollar to ninety seven dollar range and then have a down sell and the $27 to $37 range. Okay, if your upsell is lower than $47, um, you know your offer may not look as attractive or profitable to potential affiliates. Okay, so, but like I said, I don't know what you're selling or what you plan to sell. Um, you know, you could have an upsell that's in the $200 range or $500 range. Um, but I'm just as a general rule of thumb at least it should be around forty seven dollars and and then you can offer you know fifty percent commission in the upsells and downsells you'd also want to offer prizes and most affiliates do prefer cash prizes and that's what uh, a lot of affiliate contests or GV contests uh, award is cash prizes so you know take a look around at uh, other JV contests and you know you could get ideas of how much money you're, you're willing to reward to the top affiliates okay and if you offer big cash prizes um, you can also set minimums so that you don't get burned so for example if you uh, plan to offer $500 to the top affiliates 
um, you can make it a requirement that you know the top affiliate has to get a minimum of say 150 front end sales okay because then from there you could probably calculate well look he's gonna you know with 150 front end sales at 100 percent commission uh, that affiliate will probably bring in around say 20 percent um, up sales 20 percent I mean 20 percent of the people that buy that purchase the front end will buy uh, the upsell and then from there you could calculate how much money or how much um, profit you're gonna get from those leads okay so basically um, the profits you're getting you're just using to pay out to the top affiliates you must also have a JV page a JV page is a page that has the details of your offer and how much money uh, the potential affiliates can make and you would also want to have an opt-in form on there so you could build your list of affiliates and again what you could do is take a look at other JV pages and get ideas and possibly copy uh, the format and style and what they say on there okay you can also use JV page tools like affiliate builder by Omar Martin um, you could just do a Google search for that uh, that's a WordPress plugin that you would install and it creates uh, nice looking JV pages that includes opt-in forms and all the it basically makes building the JV pages a lot easier and it also has a function where it could just insert the affiliate links throughout all the email swipes and the banner ads and all the other uh, affiliate tools you'd also want to post your upcoming launch on product launch announcement websites such as munchi.com okay this is where I've listed mine in the past um, give it preferably four weeks in advance you want to list it on there so people could prepare um, you put it on their schedule and you know so they could be aware that you have a product launch coming um, you could also post in other JV network sites and product launch announcement sites uh, such as jvnotifierpro.com, jvfocus.com, etc. And you could also post on Facebook groups that are focused on product launch announcements. So you could just do a search for those groups. You can also contact markers with whom you've worked with in the past. For example, you may have promoted their products in the past. You may have done an ad swap or a, bought a solo ad from them or did some other type of work with them in the past or you might have bought a service from them or they may have bought something from you okay um, now keep in mind that some marketers do like to be notified at least four weeks in advance you can also contact marketers who are in the same industry as you uh, for example weight loss video marketing etc so you can contact other product creators who have created similar product as yours um, you can also contact affiliates uh, who have appeared in the affiliate, affiliate leaderboards of product launches. So as you can see there is a lot of work involved when it comes to recruiting uh, potential JV partners and affiliates and depending on your ambition and you know depending on how badly you want your product launch to be a success you may have to spend at least a month um, contacting and trying to recruit JV partners and affiliates. All right, so there's a few days before your launch, and you know you make sure you have a checklist of the things that you have to get done before then. Uh, one of the things you have to make sure to do is to contact your hosting company and notify them that you might get a lot of traffic in a short period of time and ask them if you have enough bandwidth to cope with this traffic. Uh, another thing I highly recommend you do is to notify PayPal. Okay, um, If you get a sudden surge in sales and it's more than your usual daily activity, um, it may raise a red flag with PayPal and PayPal may limit your account, they may hold uh, your funds and you know they may investigate what's going on and who knows how long 
uh, this hold or, li or this limit they put on, on your account will be. So you may not be able to withdraw any funds until the investigation is over. So I highly recommend that you notify PayPal in advance. Uh, what I did was I called them and I emailed them a few days in advance. Uh, I called them to put a note on my account saying that there may be a sudden surge in sales on a particular date uh, for for the duration of my launch and and I also um, called PayPal the day before uh, just to confirm that there was a note on my account okay um, another thing uh, you should do is a test purchase uh, just to make sure everything is working all right um, my last launch was on the affiliate network called JVZoo, and they have a function there where you're uh, where you're able to do a test purchase for one cent. Okay. Uh, another thing you want to do is to double check your sales pages, make sure uh, the spelling is okay, they and they look all right, and that the sales pages are formatted the way that you want. And uh, lastly, another thing that you you want to do is to remind your JVs and affiliates. A day or two in advance that you are launching and to get their swipes ready all right so your launch is now live uh, one of the first things you want to do is notify your JVs and affiliates that you are now live and that they could send out an email to their subscribers uh, you also want to monitor things to make sure that things are running smoothly make sure that your website is loading up fine with all the traffic that it's getting and make sure that customer questions are being responded to. Okay, um, you'd also want to continue to add new swipe emails uh, throughout the week so that your your affiliates have fresh new content that they could send out to their subscribers. And you'd also want to keep your affiliates up to date during the week. Uh, for example, you could give them all, updates on the stats for example the earnings per click or EPCs um, tell them how many units have been sold um, so you could you know make them feel confident that hey this offer does convert and you could also update them on your contest so you can motivate them to promote you could also hold more mini contests during the week especially if your offer is converting and you're generating a lot of cash and profits in your launch you can afford to hold more mini contests throughout the week and motivate affiliates to promote bring in more sales and bring in more leads into your business okay you can also see how you can um, improve improve conversions and make your offer more profitable for affiliates for example you could tweak the headline um, offer more bonuses on the sales page or offer another upsell all right, so basically, you know, you could you'll have all these excuses to um, contact your affiliates, motivate them to promote your launch. Here are some more tips for you so that you could have a successful product launch. Uh, one thing you may want to consider is to do a pre-launch to build up the anticipation, similar to that of a movie or a sporting event, and this is also a great way to build your list as all the traffic will be going to a squeeze page. Now how long should your pre-launch be? Uh, generally nowadays the, the few marketers who still do uh, pre-launches they generally do it between three days and maybe one day uh, before launch. A few years ago uh, there were a lot of marketers that were doing pre-launches and pre-launch um, uh, it was common uh, from my memory to see you know pre-launches last for seven days um, before launch but nowadays very few marketers do pre-launches and the ones that do uh, do pre-launches for maybe you know just one or three days before launch okay but uh, this is something you may want to consider to create buzz and to increase the sales of your launch okay um, another thing that uh, you may want to consider and this is actually something that I would highly recommend and that is to put an exit pop-up on your sales page so that when someone tries to close your web page uh, a message will pop up saying wait would you like to stay on this page and we'll offer a free gift I'm sure you've seen those uh, exit pop-ups before and what this does is it captures the leads that you may have lost forever 
that you that weren't going to buy anyways and you could have autoresponder series that will automatically follow up with these leads and try to promote the main offer with them but most importantly um, you know you are still building a list through this method and you could promote affiliate products later down the road lastly uh, this tip I want to give is well it may not be for everybody but what you may want to consider is a strategy of offering 100 percent commissions across the entire funnel so 100 percent commissions on the front end and the upsells and down sales uh, now the downside of this of course is that you're gonna lose um, you're gonna have less profits during your launch um, the benefit of this is that you're going to attract more affiliates uh, because affiliates um, will will make more money uh, with your launch. And if you have more affiliates promoting, well, you're just going to have more customers, more buyers, and just a bigger list of responsive leads that you could promote to later down the road with affiliate promotions. Um, but again, uh, this method may not be for everybody, so it's something that you may want to think about before trying uh, especially if you are in desperate need of funds um, then I would probably tell you to just go ahead and offer 50% commissions um, in the upsells and downsells but again um, you know everybody's situation is different but um, you know this method this 100% commissions across the funnel is a strategy that is being implement implemented by some marketers and some marketers are seeing great success with it but again you know it's something that you should test out or you know think about it may not be for you but just uh, consider it okay so uh, with that said I, uh, I wish you the best of luck with your product launch